President Paul himself shows a level of self-awareness and respect for Tyson's legacy. Paul's respect for Tyson is well-founded. Even at 58, Tyson remains a formidable force in the ring. His power, speed, and ferocity have not completely diminished with age, making him a dangerous opponent for anyone, let alone a relatively inexperienced boxer like Paul. Trump emphasized that Paul's main advantage in this fight is Tyson's age, a factor that may give Paul a glimmer of hope, but is by no means a guarantee of victory. Trump has a deep connection with Tyson, having been a key figure in Tyson's career during the late 1980s. Tyson often fought at Trump that all like him subscribe, guys. and the two had a close a relationship. Way. Trump even served as Tyson's business advisor oh, nice for a Trump. brief period. This history gives Trump a unique perspective on Tyson's capabilities and the challenges Paul will face still in the ring. To kill. Despite their close relationship, Tyson's career took a different direction after his conviction and imprisonment in 1992. While Trump defended Tyson publicly, Tyson chose to align with Don King upon his release, marking a shift in his professional alliances. However, Trump's admiration for Tyson's boxing prowess never waned, and he continued to follow Tyson's career closely. Trump's passion for combat sports extends beyond boxing. As a semi-regular attendee at major UFC events, he has maintained his connection to the world of fighting. This background adds weight to his opinions on the upcoming bout between Paul and Tyson. Trump's endorsement of Paul's abilities, coupled with his honest assessment of Tyson's enduring danger, paints a realistic picture of what fans can expect on fight night. In a recent interview, Trump revealed that Paul is glad he didn't fight Mike when he was 19. This candid admission underscores the respect Paul has for Tyson's legendary career. A younger Tyson was a nearly unstoppable force, and even the older version of Tyson presents a significant threat. Trump's comments highlight that Paul is aware of the monumental challenge he faces. Trump's remarks came during a Bitcoin conference in Nashville, where he addressed a crowd of cryptocurrency experts and enthusiasts. He mentioned Paul in the context of his upcoming fight, saying, Jake Paul, you don't want to fight this guy. This statement, delivered in Trump's typical blunt style, underscores the gravity of the challenge ahead for Paul. Paul's outspoken support for Trump has created a unique bond between the two. This relationship was further solidified when Paul discussed the recent assassination attempt on Trump. Paul's comments about divine intervention protecting Trump added a layer of personal connection to their public camaraderie. This mutual respect is evident in Trump's praise for Paul, calling him a fantastic guy, a very talented guy in a lot of ways. Despite his support for Trump, Paul knows that his fight with Tyson will be a true test of his abilities. Trump's insight into Paul's mindset and his acknowledgement of Tyson's enduring danger provide a balanced view of the upcoming bout. Paul's recent victory over Mike Perry, while impressive, is a different ballgame compared to facing a legend like Tyson. Tyson's preparation for the fight has been rigorous despite his age. Trump, having seen Tyson's career from its early days, understands the level of commitment and intensity Tyson brings to the ring. This understanding is crucial in assessing Paul's chances. While Paul has youth and recent successes on his side, Tyson's experience and raw power make him a formidable opponent. Trump's comments also touched on the broader implications of the fight. He highlighted the cultural significance of Tyson's return to the ring and the excitement it generates for the like fans of so boxing guys, and combat sports. Excuse me, this like fight it. is not just a clash of two fighters, but a meeting of different eras and styles, adding to its allure. The anticipation for the fight has been building with fans eager to see how Paul will fare against a boxing icon. Trump's involvement and his candid insights add another layer of intrigue to the event. His assessment that Paul is thankful he's not fighting a younger Mike Tyson is a stark reminder of the challenge that lies ahead. Trump's critique of Jake Paul's chances extends beyond just their age difference. He views Tyson's decades of experience and instinct as elements that give Tyson an edge that Paul, despite his recent victories, cannot easily counter. Trump has seen firsthand how Tyson's sheer will and relentless drive have broken many seasoned fighters, and he suggests that Paul might be underestimating the psychological warfare that Tyson excels in. Additionally, Trump's comments underline how important Tyson's legacy is in this fight. For many fans, seeing Tyson in the ring again evokes memories of his prime when he was the undisputed heavyweight champion. Paul, on the other hand, is still building his legacy. 
This disparity in their careers adds a layer of pressure on Wilder to prove himself. Cheer, Mr. Lewis. Not just as a boxer, but as a worthy opponent. Trump's ideology revolves around respect for the greatest of past champions, while also recognizing the ambition of the new generation. His admiration for Tyson's career and acknowledgement of Paul's boldness in taking on such a challenge create a narrative of respect and anticipation. Trump's perspective provides a unique lens through which to view this fight, highlighting both the reverence for Tyson's enduring legacy and the daring spirit of Paul's venture into the boxing elite. Tyson, despite being 58, remains one of the most dangerous men to step into a boxing ring. His punches still carry devastating power, and his ring IQ is unparalleled. Trump's emphasis on Tyson's legacy serves as a reminder that age has not completely dulled Tyson's ferocity. Paul's youth and recent victories are commendable, but they pale in comparison to the storied career of Tyson, who has faced and defeated some of the best in the sport. Paul's recent knockout of Mike Perry showcased his growing prowess in the ring, but Trump's analysis suggests that Tyson is a different caliber of opponent. The technical skill, psychological resilience, and raw power that Tyson brings are levels above what Paul has faced before. Trump's commentary, rooted in his long-standing relationship with Tyson, paints a picture of a formidable challenge that Paul will struggle to overcome. Trump's involvement in this narrative adds a fascinating political and cultural dimension to the fight. His support for Paul, coupled with his honest appraisal of Tyson's capabilities, creates a balanced yet dramatic build-up to the match. This fight is more than just a sporting event. It's a convergence of different worlds and eras, with Trump's voice adding to the intrigue and anticipation. Do you think Jake Paul has what it takes to beat the great Mike Tyson? What did you think of Trump's insights in the face-off between them? Let us